So a lot of people talk about the idea of anchoring states and maintaining a certain state and having your own kind of way or signal to yourself to bring you into that state at will. And on a basic level, uh, whether it's Hermetics and Franz Barden talking about it or uh, NLP or Tony Robbins beating his chest to get into an intense state. Uh, it's really kind of starts as this kind of Skinnerian conditioning, this Pavlovian conditioning uh, from the story with Pavlov and the dog, you know, hearing the bell and salivating even when the food wasn't there because he had connected all those things. So anyways, that's kind of how it starts. Now, Franz Barden, in Initiation to Hermetics, he would actually recommend, and supposedly he was able to do it and could do it regularly, but basically condense entire magical operations, entire rituals to just some signal of his hand you know, uh, whether it was a mudra or whether it was just something he invented himself, uh, he, he was known to just be able to do certain signals in bodily kind of movements to perform an entire operation. In fact, uh, I heard Poke Runyon of the Hermetic Hour say that uh, Barden got his sigils by just going out and looking up at the sky and putting his hands in his pocket, obviously. His hands were, were in a specific configuration in his pockets. Maybe no one could see them, but that's how he was communicating with the sigil. So, so he took it to the next level. And I suppose on uh, just if, if you wanted to do this yourself, obviously there's uh, material and literature on this. But, you know, I would just basically think of it as if you have a certain kind of ritual you perform with astral fire, for example, and you go into a room and you do this particular ritual and you've got particular symbols and you've got your altar or whatnot and you're doing this and you're doing this operation 20 minutes a day and you do it every day for six months and every day that you do it you hold your hand in a certain way to associate the entire thing with that particular hand gesture. And at the end of six months, it's so rooted into that hand gesture that you can just do the hand gesture and the ritual will start without you being in the room or even taking the whole 20 minute operation. Now that's the idea. And I think it's possible. I just think that's an extremely advanced level for anyone to be able to get to. I think the much easier, simpler way is to just basically be in a certain kind of altered state or a state where perhaps you're feeling more in touch with uh, your astral body or your spiritual body or a certain kind of mindset and anchoring that uh, with a certain kind of gesture. And uh, sometimes this can happen, and you probably have examples in your own life where this is already happening, where you don't necessarily realize that it's happening like this. But uh, in, the, in the Christian mystical tradition, obviously there's the, you know, there's the sign of the cross. And perhaps every time you're crossing yourself, you're associating it with that feeling perhaps when you're in chapel and you're chanting. And, uh, you know, the Holy Spirit is there and everything's lit up and there's this just warm warmth just kind of impregnating the whole space. And then you start to make the sign of the cross throughout the day and that warmth just automatically returns and that's kind of you know uh, something that may happen even as a byproduct of, of certain Christians and devout Catholics uh, the one especially the ones that are more sensitive and in touch with 
their inner sensations and kinesthetics uh, without without even realizing it. And symbols can hold the same thing, uh, whether they're icons, whether they're masks, whether they're symbols you have on the wall, whether they're even paintings, even a certain arrangement of a room. And again, with all of this stuff, uh, Franz Barden and initiation into Hermetics would take it one step further. Or actually, magical work, I think, in general, whatever tradition you're coming out of or uh, whatever way you're going about your own practice, uh, I think magical work is interesting because it can it takes that idea and, and you don't only anchor it to yourself, but you can anchor it to an object. And you can anchor an object to you and a particular state in you to that object. And it's kind of a similar thing that will come from charging an object or impregnating a room. And, uh, but, but I mean, it, it, it can extend from there. I mean, if, you're, if you have a magical space where you're in every day and you're impregnating that room with a certain intention, a certain vibe, a certain energy, or that energy is just kind of a natural byproduct. And, and I'm of the belief when you do these rituals, you should feel good. You know, I'm not of the belief that doing any sort of uh, magical work should ever lead to uh, feeling bad. I mean, this 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 needs to be on the side of health and feeling good. So hopefully, your room is basically you know charged with something good, and every time you walk into that room, you immediately feel that good feeling and you've probably known places like this you walk into a certain place you feel a certain thing I think empaths and sensitive people kind of come across this quite frequently um, but 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 this is a way to kind of control that and you can take that room with you and you can put yourself back in that room at least internally when you're not when you're not in the room physically and you just go back there. So that you know the idea of space and controlling outer space and matching it up with a kind of inner space or an inner mental formation or a kind of uh, you know geometry of self, uh, if you will, can anchor into a particular kind of feeling. So you know, and and that's what I love about hermetics. It all works together, the outer and the inner, and you build these associations, and it it takes it one step for uh, further than like a B.F. Skinner association, or even dare I say an NLP anchor, because it's it's taking almost an entire an entire process or an entire operation, um, you know, not just a particular state uh, of being or a uh, state stage. <clears throat> so I hope that helped and uh, I'm going to tell you about my store in a second. I don't know if, if you have an altar of your own or you have any interest in kind of cultivating a space uh, inside your living situation for spiritual practices, but I found that magical objects, spiritual objects, altars, places to pray, kind of setting the atmosphere is just makes all the difference in the world, especially when you're going deep into stuff. And I have a, a store, and I'm going to put it on the link below, where you can get all sorts of different uh, magical objects that you may not know where to find them otherwise, but uh, you can order them and they'll be there in a few days. So, I mean, just check it out. I mean, if you like it, it is one way to support uh, what's going on here and to keep my videos going. All right. Take care, my friends.